So I think the little son of a gun was trying to swindle me out of hot 50. you guys so i am headed to the gym this morning i'm up early um i am going to be productive today uh let me just tell y'all so i felt very guilty i have uh y'all know i started at my new location um with my job and so at the new location they have this thing where they order these teas from kim's tea house and you submit your order online so um i have been ordering what uh these sugar-free teas and um, you can naturally have it sweetened, you know, from the fruit that you want in the tea, which is watermelon, kiwi, mango, all that good stuff. So those are naturally sweet. So I've been ordering these teas and I would say this is about the fourth time I've ordered a tea. Well, this time while I was digging in the bag for my straw, a representative of the Kim's Tea House put a note in there basically saying the tea is pre-made and cannot be sugar free. What? So I've been drinking nothing but sugar all week and now that i know i've been drinking nothing but sugar i feel like my waistline has been affected i feel all bloated and big and all that so i said i had to say i'm going to the gym this morning and i got a bone to pick with you kim's tea house like i really i really do but i'm going over here to get my ass kicked i'm going back to r3 fuel okay i put her gym on my uh one of my other blogs so if you missed it i'll put a snippet of the beginning of class because she doesn't allow cell phones on the floor while you're working out so i try to do that so y'all can see how the gym looks or whatever it's a it's a real fun vibe but um i'm going to get my ass kicked very intense workout but very effective and then once i complete my workout like i said i'm being productive today i'm about to go and do my first official try on haul okay so i do want you guys constructive criticism tell me you know things i should change things i need to do and this is the time i'm asking for it so Y'all know y'all like to give it to me. Go ahead, give it to me, okay? So I'm doing my first official try on haul. So yeah, that's what we got going on. So I'm gonna bring y'all back once I complete this workout and get the try on haul going. All right, you guys, so I'm back at the house. And before I get into this whole try on haul situation, I wanted to go ahead and package up my giveaway. So if you watched the last vlog, I did my 10K giveaway announcement of who won. Only one of the winners contacted me, so I'm assuming they didn't watch the video through the end, and so now you missed your blessing. But for the one that did contact me, this is what you have on the way, okay? You have a Estee Lauder. This is a Detox Hydrate and uh, Energize Facial uh, Set. So you have this coming. You have a dossier perfume coming and you also have a Starbucks gift card so if you want to get yourself some caffeine if you want to try one of them grilled cheeses that Gina put us on to you got your little gift card on the way so I will drop this off at the post office so it can get in the hands of my winner um right after I do this try haul now let's get into the try haul all right so our first outfit is a top from Jerley Shee the bottoms are not from Jerley Shee but the top is from Jerley Shee it is a floral decorative top very nice, very comfy. If the colors are screaming summer, ladies, um, it is cropped, it ties. Um, I just have my little excess fabric tucked here, but it's very cute, very comfy. It has nice stretch to it, and it just screams summer. So get into it, get into it, get into it. Mm. Got your little cleavage showing. Give them a little uh. Yes, get into it. All right, you guys. So this is another one that Jolie she has given us. Very cute. I am digging it. You know, I can wear long sleeves year round because I have thin blood, I'm anemic, but material is very thick. It is not see-through, very stretchy for a night to, I don't know, the movies or somewhere, grocery store, quick run. You can throw these on with some slides. You can pair it with some heels to dress it up a little bit, but very cute. Get into it. All right, ladies. So this top is giving your girl material girl, okay? It is very cute and sexy. You got a little side boob action, take a little side boob back. You could dress it up with a pair of heels for a day night with boo. Or you can put a bandeau underneath it, throw it on with some shorts, put you on some Jordan ones. I got some orange and white ones that will go perfect with it. And Jerry, she is giving it to us, okay? Remember our coin phrase, we mixing highs, lows, and folds. 
So in other words, if it fit and you look good, put it on. All right, so we got another winner, honey. Now this is a little more cleavage than what I'm used to showing. However, it is very sexy, very cute, very comfy. Pants have a lot of stretch to them. They are high-waisted. The top has very minimal stretch, um, but long sleeves, like I like it since I'm always cold. And uh, just, it screams summer. You can again dress this up, dress this down, put it on with some white um, dressy type flip flops, or you can pair it with some heels. Another winner. All right, you guys, so this is also a nice comfy set. Um, again, high lows and folds. If it fit, if it's in your size, put it on. White gives a nice, clean, crisp look. Now the top is very, very sheer, so you will have to watch your undergarments. Um, the bottoms are sheer as well, but very stretchy, very comfortable, very cute. And I think this is the winner as well. All right, ladies, so we all need a freaking dress, okay? This dress is giving body, okay? It is nice and sexy. It has see-through little, I guess, slashes on it. Um, so you again, you have to watch your other garments or if you choose not to wear none, that's your business. But this is very cute. It is black, it is fitted, it is long sleeve. Put you on a pair of nice heels. Yes, honey, yes. This is giving sexy. This is giving go get them. We gonna call this the go get them dress. And this will conclude our try on haul from Jelly She. We wanna thank Jelly She for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, let's continue with the vlog. What's up, squad? So it's your girl, and I'm back. And y'all, let me just first say that y'all seen the, the trial haul, okay? I have a different respect for influencers or video creators or whatever title you choose to put an individual in for those that do trial hauls. Because, baby, I was in there sweating like a fat pig, okay? I was sweating trying to get from outfit to outfit trying to pose trying to not look like an ass so yeah it's a lot of work doing those try on hauls so i tip my hat to all you video creators influencers that be uh you know showing us these uh fashionable outfits that we go out here and purchase um because uh yeah that was a little bit of work okay not even a little bit that was a lot of work but anyways my yard man tried to play me well i'm not even gonna say it was the yard man i think it's his son so uh, they speak Spanish, so there's a little bit of a communication barrier, but there's always Google Translate and some of my employees would translate for me when it's time to communicate with him. So we used to have a system. Um, my dad, uh, we, all, we both have the same yard man, so he would you know, have his yard done, the gentleman would come do my yard, I would give the money to my father and my father would pay him because my dad was typically home all the time. So. Now that he's no longer with us, things have kind of changed. I have missed paying him, but uh, you know, I in you know, in, in to make up for my uh, procrastination or my absence when it's time for him to get paid, I always give him something extra. You know, for his inconveniences or having coming coming back to the house to collect the money and things like that. So I end up paying him a little extra, but um what I asked him was if he had any type of electronic monetary transfer, like Cash App, Zelle, anything like that to make it a little bit easier. Cause you know, gas is a little costly. I feel bad that he has to come back to collect money whenever I'm at the house. So he said, yes, my son has Zelle. So the son sent me the information and everything. Well, today I got a text saying, can you pay us? Mind you, I've been by both houses. The yards ain't been touched. So I called him and I said, hey, uh, you asking to be paid, but what did you do to yard? So of course the son speaks English. So he's speaking very fluent English. And I'm like, okay, where's your dad? Oh, he's not here. So I said, well, your dad hasn't done our yards. He told me he did. I said, let me review my cameras. Then the conversation kind of changed when I said, let me review the cameras. Then it's like, oh, well, let me just check with him when he get back. So I think the little son of a gun was trying to swindle me out a hot 50. Like, don't do that, sir. Don't do that. Because one thing I hate, even though it's 50, but one thing I hate is for you to try to bamboozle me, okay? Now, I feel better if you ask me, can you have it? I still tell your ass no, 
But still, don't try to bamboozle and lie to me talking about he already did it. And why am I communicating with you paying for a service that you don't even give me? So if need be, we could just X out this little electronic transfer thing and we can go back to the regular way of you just coming to look me in my eye and collect it face to face because I'm not going to let y'all swindle me. We'll cut ties and I give me a new yard man before I let you swindle me on my change. That just ain't going to happen. But anyways, I'm headed to the mall. Um, it is 417. The mall closes early on Sunday. Like I said, I've been in there panting and sweating and all kinds of stuff trying to get this little try on haul thing in. And it was a success. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm very, very, very pleased with some of the things that I tried now. So y'all going to see those again. So don't y'all remember it too much because it will come across your uh, either my Instagram or something. You will see me in some of those outfits out in the public. So anyways, I'll tap back in once, um, I guess once we get to the mall and see what's going on. There. came up in these people's store and didn't plan on spending this kind of money. But I feel like I deserve something nice. I do. So we gonna see what I walk out of here with. Y'all know that TikToker say, don't do it, don't do it. I did it, well I did it. I'm sitting here waiting on them to package up my purchases so that I can leave, because now I'm disgusted with myself. But I'll be happy once I have my items on. We'll do an unboxing together, don't worry. I'll show you guys what my money bought me today. All right, y'all, so my latest pickups is I got this little cute bag. You know, I, I love Louis. Louis is my go-to, I can, shop louis all day but this is a cute little bag and y'all seen it before uh when i went out to eat with gina the other day this is one of my new pickups and now this is the pickup that took place earlier baby i am not having second thoughts i don't know if i really truly love the bag let's see what your girl got and don't y'all say nothing about my little house coat I love my house coat and for those who have not heard the story, my mother bought me this during my first pregnancy. And um, it's comfortable and I love it. And I'm going to wear it till it falls apart. Now, here we go, y'all. Here we go. This is what I got today earlier. But I'm having second thoughts. I'm not sure if I loved it the way... I thought I did, but it's cute. We'll see. We'll see what happens if it stays or if it's returned. We will see. Well, anyways, you guys, I am about to take me a good old nap. It probably gonna turn into a sleep because it's already late in the day, but I'll jump back on a little bit later. Good morning, squad. So I'm headed to work this morning, and your girl is tired. But I woke up with a little buyer's remorse. That's what Gina said I have. Because I thought about it all last night with carrying a bag, putting it on with different outfits. And I'm not 100% head over heels in love with the bag. And I feel like for the price of the bag, I should be in love with it. And because, you know, I don't buy bags like that often, I do. I do feel like I should like it a little bit more than what I do. I feel like I settled. But, um... After I bought the bag, that's when the sales associate said, uh, you have 14 days to return or exchange. We do not, I mean, to return for store credit or exchange. We do not give refunds. And I feel like that's something that should have been disclosed prior to you swiping my card. He had me sign something after the purchase had already been done. But anyways, he did also inform me that Fendi is doing a collaboration with Versace. 
So they're doing their collaboration with Versace, similar to what Balenciaga did with Gucci. So I think I may return the bag, just get the store credit and wait for them to release that um, piece of it in hopes that I like something that, you know, is in that line, hopefully. We gonna see, because I, I don't feel like I should settle. So hmm, it is what it is. Also, I was productive and I'm gonna let y'all into one of my insecurities. So when I was heavier or, you know, yo-yoing my weight with yo-yo up and down, up and down, um, I, just, I had some skin that would not retract. It just wasn't gonna retract. It was loose skin and um, as a result, I did have it cut off. I wasn't gonna have that skin hanging off me. But anyways, I had an arm lift. So I made an appointment with my tattoo artist um, who did my back piece, he did my thigh. And um, I'm gonna give him some of the ideas that I have to get the scar covered up. Cause I'm just, so it, it just bothers me. It, it bothers me and I'm very insecure about it. Um, I don't even like to wear like um, muscle T type sleeve shirts because of the scar. So I'm gonna go see him and I'm scared. I'm nervous. Every time I get ready to get a tattoo, I have 13 tattoos and I get nervous every time I go get a tattoo. So I told him prepare for all the whining, and crying and the shenanigans I'm gonna bring because I asked a fool. Okay, now that's that. Now the last thing that I wanna address, when y'all are in the comment section, I think you know, when you leave a comment that says, hey, Jay, I like you, but I think when you have to put that but, we should probably not continue on typing because that falls in the category. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. OK, because that but is going to lead the, the it takes away from the compliment that you just gave. And I don't like the comparison of YouTubers from one YouTuber to the next, because I feel like we're all on this platform trying to make something of ourselves, trying to make money, trying to give you guys good content. And, you know, I like you, but I like this one better. This one does this better than you. This one, and that's cool. I applaud those people. You know, some of us have been doing this for an extended amount of time. And like I said, I applaud those people and I don't take anything away from it. Actually, I try to learn from them and I don't mind asking for pointers and things like that. I'm not too proud, baby, because I want to be the best that I can be. I want to excel in the things that I do. So therefore, when y'all have to do that, don't do that. Type that. You, it's okay to have your own opinion of who you like more, but type that on your own platform. Don't put that under somebody else's video. Uh, nobody. Because that's discouraging. That, to me, is something to tear that individual down. And it creates tension that may not even be there. From the outside looking in, people may think, you know, there's animosity amongst these people. And there really isn't. So, if y'all can refrain from doing it, that'd be great. Now, I've made it to work, so... Time to go make a call. Hey, you guys. So I'm headed uh, to Southeast Houston to my tattoo session. I got a 1 p.m. appointment. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got going on for today. I've not already been up cleaning. I cleaned Mama's house for two hours. Uh, went by my house, did a little cleaning over there. And now I'm headed to my tattoo appointment. So let's see how this goes. This man over here just tried to get in my vehicle. He has the same type of car, but he opened my door and almost got his head blowed off. Baby, he tried to get in my car. He tried to get in my car, opened the door, and was about to plop his ass down. And I was going under the seat on his ass. I'm sitting here waiting on my tattoo guy. He tried to get in my car now, y'all. That wasn't going to sit well with me or him, okay? Shit. All right, y'all, so my tattoo session is over and I need to invest in some other colors. Y'all know I like black. Okay, well, if you didn't know, now you know. I wear black long sleeve almost 
every day, all day. But anyways, um, because it's hot out here. But my tattoo session is over, and that that hurt. It didn't hurt as bad as I, th I thought it was. But I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or I haven't had a tattoo session in such a long time. But yeah, that kind of hurt a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. But if you ever in Houston, Corey Relentless, he's on the southeast side of Houston. Um, if you're looking for a tattoo artist, I'll put his IG on the screen so you can go check out his work. But that is my tattoo artist. So, um, got one scar covered up on the left and now we got to worry about the right arm. Or we just might let the right arm be, honey. Because I don't know if I can go through another session like that. But, um, I also considered doing, uh, we talked about doing a portrait of my dad. So, I don't know. I might do it. I might not. Um... But we're going to see. We're going to see. I don't know if it'll be a portrait, but some type of tribute to him. So, he is very creative, and um, he's good at what he does. So, that's that on that. Now, I'm hungry. I haven't had much to eat today. I had egg whites, and I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know why I was craving peanut butter and jelly. That used to be my go-to, though. When I had a sweet tooth, I would make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich with the quickness and a glass of almond milk, baby, and it went down. But I am hungry, so I am headed to find me something to eat and um i head back to the house i should beat the kids back i that that session kind of went pretty fast i didn't do as much crying and whining and procrastinating as i normally do so that went fast so that's what i'm going to do yeah i'm going to give me something to eat and back to the house yeah so burger king it is bky nothing exciting then i'm gonna cook myself a ready fresh meal after i eat like fries y'all know i'm the fry bandit no you're so not that's what we got going on i am it's me it's promise. My professional photographer. No, it's um the professional fry eater. Anyways, we finna eat. Y'all, it don't pay to be that greedy. I literally devoured that food before I recorded the finished product. Like, that don't make no damn sense. I was hungry. And um, now I'm in the bed. Uh, I forgot that my arm would be tender. So now I can't sleep on this side. I have to sleep on this side because of this stupid tattoo. But I wanted it. I like it. I got it. Whatever. So I'm about to take me a nap before it's time for me to go work out this evening. So I'm going to end the vlog here. And I want to say thank you guys, and I love you all, and see you soon.